Okay, for this project I'm going to be cutting back and threading the end of my AR-180B muzzle. Um, you can see right now I've got it set up, so I've got 1 8 inch uh, pinstriping tape along the ridge where the, uh, the barrel actually comes up to meet the integral muzzle brake. Um, then I've got some 3 quarter inch tape here that's leading out to this edge. That's also got some pinstriping tape on it. Um, it's 3 quarter inch wide minus 1 8 of an inch is about 5 eighths of an inch, which is exactly the thread length we should be looking for on an AR-15 style rifle. Okay, the cut is now complete. You can see it's a bit rough, um, but here is the part that was just removed. Um, I had jammed a bit of uh, patch in there to keep chips from going down the bore. I must have stuffed it in too far because most of it was in the cutoff bit. Um, but you can still see there's some remnants of it inside there. Also, the carbon build up inside the actual ports of the integral muzzle brake. But next step will be to use this tape line back here as the guide for stopping when I use the annular cutter. Okay, I've cleaned up the muzzle end uh, with some files. There's still a little uh, swarf on the outside or some burrs on the outside, but those should come off with the annular cutter. Um, what I'm going to do is apply some oil and get cutting. close there. Probably just one more cycle of cleaning and oiling and I should be done. And there we go. Uh, as you can see I've got about 5 eighths of an inch of threadable shank right here coming up to about 1 eighth inch. I need to peel off this tape. Oh. I'll peel it off later. Um, 1 eighth inch of shoulder uh, for which the muzzle device can, uh, can be tightened against. Um, now it's just boiling down to threading the shank here, and that's something I've done a number of times before, just with a hand-held uh, die wrench and die. And there we have it, cleaned up and degreased. Um, you can see, I don't think you can see, just because of the way my camera's focusing, but uh, just to prove that it is threaded, and threaded well. It's going to work just fine. Uh, there's just enough clearance for even the shorter uh, muzzle devices. Uh, to thread all the way down to the end of the socket. This one will stop, but you can see there's just enough gap here for a crush washer. Or I should probably go over some of the tools I used in this project. I don't know if I mentioned the CNC Warrior annular kit that I used for trimming the muzzle. Um, the rotor brooch brand, 7 8 inch by half inch on the inside, uh, actual brooch tool, which fits inside CNC Warrior's drill adapter um, so that these two flats are engaged by these two set screws. Uh, before that though, 
Uh, it also includes a caliber specific mandrel. This one for 223, obviously. Um, the threaded end of the mandrel goes into the tool. And you can tell that it spins nice and tight in there, but it is allowed to rotate, and that's important. Um, it also comes with two hex nuts that attach. They do not tighten against the body of the cutter. They will only tighten against themselves, so give yourself a little bit of slack. And you're tightening them together. In terms of slack, off the body of the cutter. Oops. Wrench here. Wrench here. Tighten them up. And there you can see it still spins, but the nuts are hard against each other there. The brooch then gets inserted into the adapter. Tighten the set screws. And do watch out, these are fairly sharp. And then there you go. It's ready to go and uh, ready to start trimming a muzzle. Um, I was using a half inch D-handle drill. Um, as long as you're turning it slowly, I don't know if the power or the uh, the chuck matters. Um, this has obviously got flats cut onto it for, uh, for use in a drill. Um, but yeah, like you saw, it was just a matter of pretty much going slowly Keeping, uh, keeping it well oiled. I was using Tap Magic. Um, any sort of high sulfur cutting oil should do. And then clearing the chips just with a toothbrush. To actually cut the threads themselves, um, I was using a one inch wide uh, split ring die with a half inch 28 threads. Um, and this is basically the same procedure you've seen in my Saiga threading video. Um, using this, uh, I don't know who made this, I got it from Brownells, just a thread alignment tool. Um, for 223 um, with a half inch by 28 thread guide there and as you can see everything came out pretty well and I'm ready to take it to the range I'll get the uh, full amount of hardware on it including the crush washer or uh, whatever kind of, of washer is going to go on there to, to separate it and allow me to index it a little better um, like I said if you have any questions please let me know and uh, leave them in the comment section thank you for watching